One of the principles of my business that has been so helpful for me is I get to quality through quantity. And by the way, there's my sweet dog buddy there. I get to quality through quantity. So what I mean by it, and I'll use my, my own videos as an example, you know that I make a bunch of videos, right? And not all of my videos are great. In fact, probably most of them are not that great. But because I've made so many, it's inevitable that a few of them are actually quite good. And the key that I've discovered is not to judge myself, but to stay faithful and consistent to the quantity and allow the quality to take care of itself. Because I've discovered that if I keep on creating videos or writing articles or putting things on social media, just by the practice of doing that again and again, I get more skillful at it. At the very least, I get used to doing it. I get uh, familiar with the tools and the practice of doing it. It becomes something that is um, that I build a muscle in doing. And therefore, I get better about it over time. And you can do the same thing. You make your first video, it's not very good, maybe. You make your fifth video, it's a little bit better, or at least you're more accustomed to it. You're more used to the, doing it. You've, you've learned a bit better about ignoring the fear. That's part of the quantity. If we focus on the quantity, we will learn to ignore the negativity, such as the fear and um, the hesitation. <laughs> uh, my wife's playing with my dog there, getting a little squeaky ball. We will learn to ignore the fear and the hesitation, and, and therefore quantity becomes even easier over time. And if we learn to ignore the fear and learn to ignore the self-judgment and just keep doing it, we're going to become more skillful over time and quality will take care of itself. Because the, another important part of this is that quantity allows our audience more options to tell us what they found useful and entertaining and helpful. If we only put one thing out every now and then, we're giving our audience very limited options, right? So through quantity, we get to quality. One more piece of this is to be aware that your content is not going to be seen by all of your audience all the time. Not every piece. When I put out a video, I know that only some of my audience is going to see any one video. And it might be a different part of my audience every time. It's just the nature of statistics. Same thing with your audience. Whether you have 10 people in your audience or 1,000 people, not all of your audience is going to see all of your videos all the time, right? Only some of them will see. So, so just expect that your audience will only catch some of your content. So if you put out a greater quantity of content, you give a greater chance for your audience to catch your content than if you only put out something every now and then. The common objection to the quantity, uh, th this idea, right, is, oh, but George, I want to spend a lot of time making something really good and then put it out there. Well, I'll just say this. All of us are actually getting to quality through quantity. Some of us are just more self-judgmental perhaps and only put out a very small quantity and therefore they get to quality even more slowly. Do you see what I mean? So if you only put out something once a month, right? You're only building your skills once a month. Whereas I put out videos three times a week. So I'm building my skills a lot more rapidly. Now you don't have to do three times a week videos. I'm not saying that's what you need to do. But my encouragement to you is to try to grow your quantity to a measure that you can sustain, okay? Do more maybe until you get to a, a maximum sustainable rhythm and then try to stay faithful and consistent to that. And you will build your skills more quickly and you will discover, you will understand your audience better and get to quality more quickly. So I hope this is helpful. Remember not to judge ourselves. Let give our audience more options to tell us what's useful. And let's get to quality through quantity.